Hello everyone. I am Dr. V. A. Sandil Kumar. I am the head of the department and ortho spine unit head in Dharamshila Narayana Health Group. I am going to talk to you about annular tear problem in the discs today. Annular tear is a problem commonly faced by almost many of the young individuals and also even middle age and older individuals in today's day to day life and annular tear leads to back pain and also pain radiating to the legs one or both the legs sometimes there are some atypical symptoms also in which the patient feels pain going down the sacrum that means the tailbone or sometimes pain coming in the genital area private parts and also sometimes pain is felt in the groin what is the reason for these pains annular tear you have to understand first the spinal column this is the spinal column which is called as the backbone it is not a single bone it is made of multiple bones like vertebrae and they look like bricks stacked one over the other and between every two bricks there is a disc which acts like a shock absorber so you can think in a way these are like bricks arranged one over the other with shockers in between so there are 23 vertebrae in the entire spinal column which are separate structures separate vertebrae the last nine vertebrae are fused together and you can see the god has made it in this way because you can have flexibility of the backbone because all the bones are separate but at the same time they are fixed together and you have the shockers which is the intervertebral discs which help in flexibility of the backbone and also the nerves which are supplying the neck which and arms comes from the cervical spine which is the neck portion then the dorsal portion where the nerves come out for the chest and the abdomen and for the leg portion nerves come out through the lumbosacral spine so if there is any problem with the disc then it will cause pain not only in the backbone also you will get pain if the nerve which is coming out from between the vertebrae is getting compressed by the disc or irritated by the disc or by certain reactions called as chemical reactions or immunological reactions which causes swelling in the nerves in this model the nerves have been shown short but actually the nerves these nerves especially they are going all the way down up to the legs up to the foot so the pain can be felt throughout the entire leg thigh and the calf and even in the foot or you can feel paresthesia also because of the irritation of the nerve root annular tear is a condition when the patient's disc which is like a shock absorber it because of continuous stresses of our movement or increased body weight and also bending forward bending backward so many movements we keep doing so the shock absorber which is which has two layers one is the outer covering which is called as a annulus fibrosus and the inner gel like structure it is not exactly gel but it is very soft like gel which gives the shocker action the nucleus pulposus is the central gel like structure annulus fibrosus has radial tire like features where there are criss cross fibers also there are horizontal fibers also there are vertical fibers also they are placed in such a nice way between the vertebrae as the outer covering of the disc if there is any small tear in the outer covering of the disc 
then this nucleus pulposus that gel penetrates into that tear and that causes pain in the back when it touches the nerve root then it can cause mechanical pressure or it can also cause irritation which is the chemical cause and sometimes it can cause even a immunological cause immunological means the body starts thinking it is a foreign substance and it starts giving some reactions against it which also causes inflammation in the nerves that also causes pain radiating down the legs and sometimes vascular proliferation which tries to heal that tear that also can cause inflammation of the sinovertebral nerves and that also causes back pain or pain radiating down the legs annular tear is a small tear in the disc which i told you they are usually about 3 to 5 mm in size which are very small so many times an mri also can be normal but if the mri is normal but the patient is having pain and symptoms which are suggestive of this kind of radicular pain pain in the legs then you will have to get something called as discogram so that will show that there is a annular tear even if it is not picked up on the mri because mri sections are more than 5 mm like 5 mm or 3 mm so anything sub 3 mm tear will not be picked up on the mri so discogram is a definitive procedure in which annular tear can be picked up and when once you know that uh, there is a leakage then we can send the patient immediately to the ct scan where they will take the ct sections and it will show the exact location of the tear holes now what is the treatment for annular tear initially we try and explain the patient to take uh, analgesics and avoid and untoward stressful activities for the backbone like bending forward or lifting weight all those things should be avoided and patient can do spine exercises and in due course of time it might heal but if the immunological reaction or inflammation or chemical neuritis if it is persisting then we may give an injection of steroid in the disc or in the along the nerve root by giving what is called as epidural injections or root blocks the patient might get complete relief this can happen in about 60 to 70% of patients in those patients who do not get cured even with injection in the disc or even steroid injections in the disc or with the injection in the root nerve root sheath then we offer what is called as transforaminal endoscopic discectomy in which we remove the discs which are the disc portion nucleus pulposus which is stuck in the annular tear and those disc materials are removed and also we uh, seal it with what is called as rf cautery or laser uh, modality and uh, this usually gives about 90 95% complete relief from this long standing problem of annular tear and back pain and radicular pain hope you it was useful for you and thanks for patiently listening to my presentation thank you